Ken Deshane, welcome to Doghouse. Thank you. I've been Thank looking you at your have. website and you've played with a, a lot of famous people. Just tell me about, about yourself, uh, what you've been doing and... Uh, well, yeah, I you know, I, I, I'm a northern boy. I grew up in, in Minnesota and we, we had a whole parade of all the old blues guys coming through back in the late 60s, yeah. early 70s. Oh, yeah. And so, Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, Willie Dixon, Otis Rush, just B.B., uh, Freddie, and the Albert King. Well, and you met most of those. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. And uh, that was just a parade of old blues guys coming through. Then uh, the university brought up all the old uh, Mississippi players. So it was Booker White and Fred McDowell and uh, Furry Lewis, Big Joe Williams. Uh, Mance Lipscomb came up from Texas. It was, yeah. it was just a parade. A parade of you didn't well remember all those. In yeah. Minnesota back yeah. in that time. Yeah. So we got to sit and listen to all of them, played with some of them, and rubbed shoulders with a lot of them. Yeah. Willie Dixon heard the band I was in at the time and got us a recording contract. And set up a show, so we, we we got I got to get on stage with Howl and Wolf. So yeah, it was was incredible. Did a little reefer and champagne with Muddy Waters. Uh, rode down Beale Street with BB King in golf yeah. carts to his yeah. grand opening. This was some time later when I was running the roads with old Johnny Shines, who was the the, the traveling companion of Robert Johnson. So. All those connections were so important for me, yeah. and I try to share them every night with the audiences. Well, I didn't expect that. That is some history. So, how did you develop from that? Did you, did you were you in bands? Did you become like a, a solo artist and you well, start traveling around? If you're familiar with the Fabulous Thunderbirds, um, Kim Wilson is the leader and harmonica player of that band. But previous to that, he was in Minnesota playing in the band that we had, Aces, Straits, and Shuffles. And that was that, that time period when Willie Dixon hooked up with us. So that band ended up breaking up just personnel problems. Him and the guitar player didn't do well together. Mm. And we actually brought Jimmy Vaughn up from Texas to, really? to, Jimmy a, Vaughn. to audition yeah. for the band. Yeah. And then Kim ended up splitting and going to Texas so a couple of years later, I went down to Texas to see what was going on down there and yeah. met Stevie, knew Jimmy, hung out at Antone's. He was bringing in all the greats of the blues down there and yeah. treating them like royalty. So all that was, uh, you know, mid-70s. Then about 1980, I just got tired of the people around me partying too much and not focusing on the music. Yeah. as much yeah. as I wanted yeah. to. So I decided to just try and do a solo thing. Yeah, yeah. And I knew I was going to starve to death, which <laughs> was okay. But I, knew, I lived in Minnesota, and I knew I was going to freeze to death if I didn't get out of there before winter time. So I headed to the south. Yeah. And I fell in love with the south. So were you, like Texas, is that what you mean? Uh, where do you no, the uh, this is deep south. This would be... Uh, Coming out of the Mardi Gras in New Orleans, yeah, hitting uh, Mississippi, then Alabama, Georgia, and the Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah, so way down in the deep south. Yeah, and I uh, started kicking around, and I hustled gigs everywhere, and I was doing yeah. about three hundred shows a year there. Really? Wow. Yeah. 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 Little places. Yeah. Um, but you know, just having fun doing yeah. the, the blues life. Yeah. Like those old guys were doing when they were young, and then that's when I met Johnny Shines um, about 1988, and we ran the roads for three years, did a couple hundred shows, Grammy-nominated album, W.C. Handy award-winning album. The festivals were getting bigger, and yeah. they were flying yeah. us all over. We were on our way to Europe, and then old Johnny passed away, so I buried him. And that's when I started coming to Europe. Yeah. Is it Norway? Is it Norway you live for? In, in your... I live in Georgia, in the US. All oh, right, I don't know where I've seen some reference to it somewhere in Scandinavia. Well, I just posted that I'm going to Norway for, a, okay. for a, uh, the Hell Blues Festival coming up uh, yeah. 
I played all over Norway yeah. many times oh, during the 90s and into the 2000s. Um, so that's just another run on this. That was a gamble for a sun lover. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they, they love the blues there too. And so wherever the blues is happening yeah. is where I want to go. So you toured it, Europe quite a lot, I take it. I've done over 120 tours. Getting used to it then? In the last 24 <laughs> years. I probably spent half my life overseas the yeah. last 24 years. I bet you get a home you've got a home that's never been lived in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I lived on the road for many years, decades, without an address, without a phone, and all that stuff. And that was great. Just follow the weather and follow the fishing and play some yeah. gigs. Um but now for the last fourteen years I've been building a house down on the banks of Lake Eufaula in South Georgia, right on the Alabama border. I live there, and it's sounds great. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. We'll invite the audience tonight, <laughs> as we do every night. Do you think they wouldn't want to go? Whoa, yeah. Well, we yeah. call it the house the Brits built. All right. Because I've been working you so mean you've been, much. You've been inviting plumbers and electricians and builders, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> no, yeah. I built the whole thing myself. And really? It's pretty yeah. much finished. Yeah. There, there's some finishing work yeah. to be done, but. Yeah. I planed all the wood, pulled all the nails out of recycled timbers, and I built a big 3,000 square foot house. Yeah. Um, I did all the plumbing, I did all the electric. Wow, great stuff. Yeah, and it's, it's fully and I bet you did that with I bet you did that without YouTube to show you what to do. Yeah, I didn't use YouTube. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I studied hard to learn yeah. the, 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 the techniques, yeah. Yeah. and I just applied them according yeah. to the rules of plum yeah. level and square yeah. yeah and everything came out fine yeah, yeah. that sounds great yeah do you know what it's been fascinating listening to your uh, story um thanks a lot thank you thank yeah. you Cheers. i'll just cut that at the, at the end you know that's great it, well, that's really interesting stuff yeah i'll um Actually, I've spoke. Is your agent? I think of. Is it your agent? I've, John, I've st yeah. stuff. Have you got a WhatsApp page? Uh, Facebook. You don't. I have Facebook. Oh well, find on there, and then I can message you with the links and that, so you can see. 